Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the vlog. It is 10 to 5 on Monday afternoon. Today I worked all day on the fishing show with Carl, and uh, after that I put together a couple uncut and raws uh, to get me through the week. Actually, I'm going to have three done by the end of tonight, and uh, I realized it's Monday. I have to do a food review and get that out as soon as possible, and uh, I remembered that we have this from Rob and he sent me $15 to eat at the burger station, which is perfect because Carol's uh, going out tonight and uh, one of my kids is sick and the other one's working. So I had to fend for myself and uh, actually I'm not fending for myself. Rob's fending for me and uh, he sent me a nice little letter. We've already discussed the letter and uh, he really wants me to try this. And I'm supposed to be doing the Union Station Combo it will cover cheese and bacon and also uh, subbing fries to get the rings, unless you'd rather have the fries. Uh, I'm going to do the onion rings. Yeah, we'll try their onion rings and a fountain pop, and we'll do all that, and we'll shoot a, cook, or a, a food review. And uh, I, obviously, I'm not in, uh, I'm in my, my oldest kid's car, and uh, she's got a whole lot of stuff in the back, and I had to like level it out so it's not that visible. And, uh, yeah, got the steering wheel, oh, figures. Got the steering wheel thingy in, everything's all ready to go. We just gotta get all organized. I got my lights, cause it's now, it's gonna be dark probably within the next 15, 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, I can't have a dark food review, so let's get this done. You can do it. You can do it. All right. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another... One more time. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. And just for Rob, he is an awesome subscriber of ours. And uh, he lives somewhat in the same area as I do, Innisfil. Oh, is that slowly falling over? Is it slowly falling? One more time. Hello, I'm Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. It is around five o'clock in the evening on Monday. So I'm putting this together. It's getting dark. I had to use my lighting kit, but one of my amazing subscribers by the name of Rob sent me a really nice letter and, and a, a basically a gift certificate for 15 bucks to come and eat at one of his favorite burger joints. <laughs> Gotta get the vinegar. Look at these onion rings. They look like they were uh, homemade as well. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Totally different kind of uh, breading or batter. It's almost like a, like a fish and chip batter. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Wow, Rob, thanks for telling me to upgrade to onion rings. This whole dinner, the burger, onion rings, drink, came to $14.97. Perfect. Okay, one more. One more little one. Mmm. I'm gonna put that down over here. I'll give my fingers a wipe. Dig into this burger. I asked her if I could take a picture and a video of it before she put it in the bag. When they're putting the when they're putting the burgers together, right in front of you, they look amazing. And then as they're wrapping it, they're starting to squish it down. So as I saw her doing that, I said, "Can you stop? Can I take a picture of it, please?" And she's like, "No problem." So she put it up. So check out the difference between this one and the one that I took before she squashed it. That one looks a little bit better. The bun looks kind of weird, but 
but uh, yeah, so I, I, but I'm pretty sure it's going to taste the same. But again, homemade patty, people. Oh, I wish I'd, I wish I'd uh, asked you not to put the lettuce on the bottom so you could see that homemade patty. It smells amazing. It's charcoal broiled homemade patty. So I did um, mustard, uh, lettuce, cheese, onions, and tomatoes. See if Rob is right about this place. I think he is. Mmm. As I bit into it, you could taste the char broil. Wow. All right, vlogging people. This was my setup. I had one light over here, one light over here. I can't believe this camera is, is holding up. But that's the, the lighting. Uh, not bad. Sometimes I, I think that I can't shoot after a certain time because uh, of the lighting, but it's still light enough outside. Let me see if you guys can see. So it's still light enough out there, plus the lighting in here, and they're both on the lowest setting possible. If you had it any brighter, it would look awful. Let's do a quick experiment. Let me turn that back up. There we go. Okay, this is what it looked like if I didn't use my lighting at this time of the day. Let me t turn off. Interesting with one lighting, eh? <sighs> Let the camera adjust. Let the camera adjust. Still got some onion rings left. Check out that one. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Rob. I'm not sure if I'd ever have eaten here. If you didn't tell me about it and, and treat me to dinner too. Chances are if you just told me about it, I still, probably still would have come. Okay, before that battery dies, this is what it would look like if I used the wrong lighting. So that's too bright. And that's too bright. The GoPros actually couldn't handle that at all. Because it's so bright on me right now, it's making outside even darker. And, I, and because I looked at the light, I'm blind at the moment. So let's turn this down to one. Okay, that was number one. So that actually would have been all right. But if, if I turn my lights down a little bit more, then the background is a little more exposed because it's, I'm not going over exposed. But the, the, the GoPro couldn't handle this at all. I did one shoot at Boston Pizza like a couple years ago at nighttime on purpose just to see if the lighting would work and it was just stupid blown out and it sucked. I thought that it was gonna be wrecked. I put it up anyway and just explained to people, sorry that the lighting sucked, but that's just the way it happened. Unfortunately, again, you can't see what the GoPro sees. But right now I'm looking at you guys with this app so I can tell what the lighting looks like. All right guys, we're gonna get home. We gotta edit this sucker, put it up as quickly as possible Hopefully there's not a lot of editing in this one. This is going to be like cut, 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 put it together mm, up on YouTube.